Why did you go to Minas Tirith? I was only gone for like 17 years. Oh my good goodness. I'm a slow reader. So generally the video is doing pretty well, but strangely most of the complaints are about Samwise. What did I do? So your voice doesn't really sound anything like Samwise. Well, of course it doesn't. Why? Because oh, I don't know if they have eyes, but the anatomy of a potato is very different to that of a hobbit. And when you perform a very complex transfiguration from hobbit sapien to potato sapien, the formation of the vocal cords is completely different, not exactly one-to-one. How so? You see, a hobbit's throat is made up of a complex biological system, but a sentient potato throat, that's just a starchy hollow tube. I'd like to see them perform a spell that hard. Ah, that makes sense, yeah. Thanks for clearing all that up. Also, I'm being more myself now. I'm a bit more disagreeable than I was 20 years ago. And, and I says it like I sees it. So I'm not really saying stuff in the same way. And why are we here again? I have no memory of this place. I explained that in other videos. I'm not spending time re-explaining it. I suppose you think that was terribly How did you get up to bag in so fast? Eagles. Oh, so you use the eagles for a fun prank? but not to destroy the ring and avert war. I'm not in charge of what the Eagles will and won't agree to help with. They make their own decisions. It turns out they love pranks. Two eyes. Yes. As often as I can spare them. <laughs> That's a great gag. I'm so proud of that gag. Oh. Are you sure you said the same thing in Morio when I asked you to give me a hand? <laughs> Did I? Yeah. You said I'll give you two hands, as often as I can spare them. Hmm. I don't remember that. And in Rivendell, when I told you to keep an ear open for news of the ring, oh. you said hmm. I'll keep two ears open as often as I can spare. You just do the same joke in every conversation. Not the conversation, wizard. You would have had us all believe. Hmm. Wait, it's... here in my pocket. Alzheimer's. He's not got Alzheimer's. That's definitely Alzheimer's. It's the same thing with me auntie. Very sad at the end. You have to have the same conversation with her over and over again. Sounds all right to me. You would say that. You're a sad old man with only one joke. I, I've got two jokes, and I use them as often as I can spare them. And what's your second joke? Oh, uh, you'll see. Now it comes to it. I don't feel like parting with it. It's mine. I found it. It came to me. Bipolar? He's not got bipolar. Can we just please stop armchair diagnosing Bilbo Baggins? Thank you very much. Oh, my business isn't of yours when I do with my own things. I think you've had that ring. That's a fair point. Why were you so keen to steal a precious possession from a scared old hobbit? With clear signs of neurological declines, Gandalf. I've told you to stop that. And the reason I wanted the ring was because I was concerned it might be one of the rings of power, which are very dangerous and could unleash untold evil across Middle-earth. Okay. Okay, sorry. I just wondered. You seem pretty head up, Gandalf. Presumably you felt so strongly about this ring that as soon as you got it off him, you set about making plans for what to do about oh, it. Oh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was uh, pretty immediate. You want it for yourself? Bravo, Baggins! Wow. Our first glimpse of the almighty magical powers of Gandalf the Grey. Ah, yeah, thank you, thank you. It is pretty impressive indeed. It sure is. And it's just the start. I bet over the course of this trilogy we'll see you cast all sorts of magic spells. We're more impressive than just making it slightly darker or lighter, won't we? You're not impressed by making things darker or lighter? Well, like I say, it was a nice start, but... Presumably, you can do more than that. Oh. Sometimes I can make it really bright. Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. How much I... are your tricks? You buy them at wholesale prices at a magic emporium in Soho. Only a fully paid up member of the magic circle gets them at my price. Ah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, he was acting like I was some clown that just bought Whoopee cushions and fake turds from Smithy. Whereas, actually, you're a guy who can make a room darker. And lighter. Pick a card. Conjurer of cheap tricks. You do seem to have a lot of pent-up rage. Mm -hmm. I've been going through some stuff. And you've been drinking. And admittedly, I wasn't my best self. Never drink after old Toby. 
Or was it before? Mm. Gandalf the White Eater. Maybe consider the CBT we've talked about. I am not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you. How often do you use that trick to get away with robbery? Mm. Works every time. Oh, Dorothy needs help crossing the road. <coughs> Elbow. Hmm? The ring is still in your pocket. Can't believe he thought that would work. I'm a blooming Maya. Yeah, you need a bit more cunning to get past the Grey Wizard. He probably thought I've absolutely had his pants down over this ring for like 50 years. I bet I can just and walk out. He did it. not have my pants down. I was waiting for the opportune moment. I wanted it to come up organically. Heavy ring? Why do you think Frodo looks so knackered by the end? Weighed about the same as three babies, that thing. What an inappropriate metric. I thought up an ending for my book, and he lived happily ever after. To the end of his days. I mean, it's a dog shit ending. I didn't have the heart to tell him. He seems so proud. Did he live happily ever after for the rest of his days? Uh, the only other time we see him in this film, he turns into a snarling beast and then starts bawling his eyes out. Ah, the kind of thing you save for the appendices, yeah. I guess. And he lived happily ever after for the rest of his days. P.S. Whenever he saw the ring, he turned into a little goblin and went completely berserk and then couldn't stop crying. But other than that, he was really happy. Riddles of the dark, my precious. Ah, I see the cogs turning, our very own Sherlock Holmes, piecing together all the evidence and coming to the inevitable conclusion that this is indeed the One Ring. It's all about to click into place and you'll leap into action immediately, I bet. Oh, ten minutes, tops. <coughs> left you bag end. All that money and just a baguette. Bag end. Yeah, your diction's slipping. Oh, you were hammered though. How did you know that? You said he was leaving everything to Frodo. Yes, but he didn't specify bag in. He just said the details were in the envelope on the mantelpiece. Well, I assumed that this would Did be... you open it and read his will? <sighs> I was waiting a long time. It was boring. Any uh, juicy gossip in there? Abelia Sackville Baggins is having an affair with Otto Proudfoot. She notches him off behind the old Bywater Mill on a Wednesday night. Weird thing to put in a will. Along with all his possessions. Do hobbits not have inheritance tax? Well, they do, but you know inheritance tax is just for the poor hobbits. Bilbo and the other aristocrats have trust funds and offshore accounts and, and such. Yeah, Denethor set it up, so technically I reside in Numenor. <laughs> that really is pushing it. I mean, if he hadn't, Frodo probably wouldn't have been able to keep the ring. I mean, we never got it valued, but he would have had to pay a butt-ton of tax on it. Where are you going? There's some things that I must see to. Ah, here we go. Gandalf, man of action. He knows Sauron is returning. He knows he needs the One Ring. He knows Bilbo's ring must be the ring he seeks. It's time to assemble the Fellowship. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> mm. I don't understand. Neither do I. What? What? Didn't you understand? Well, I had to go off and do some research to find out if Sauron was really returning or not. But we fought Sauron literally about 50 years before this and didn't finish him off. And we explicitly talked about the ring while that was going on. I know, but I just found the whole adventure with the dragon and stuff less memorable. It was nowhere near as iconic or well-crafted as this one. So, yeah, I forgot some details. Oh, right. f you. So you went off to research the history of events you yourself were present at. Well, go easy on him, Elrond. I feel like he's developing Alzheimer's. <sighs> Will you stop doing that? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Tried a few different versions of that line, but that's the one Peter Jackson liked the most. What were the other ones? Oh, uh, keep it hidden. Keep it huff. What 
What does that even mean? Uh, keep it sneaky. Keep it snoop. Keep it secure. Get a yo combination safe. What are you talking about? Well, like I said, he preferred keep it secret, keep it safe. And yeah, he made the right call. Snitches get stitches. Is that Minas Tirith? Why did you go to Minas Tirith? To research the history of the ring and the return of Sauron. But you already knew about Sauron's return. You personally met Sauron and got locked in a cage by him. I just had to make absolutely sure. You'd have ridden right past my house to get to Minas Tirith. You could have just stopped in for tea and asked me. I was literally there for all of it, Gandalf. I could have told you everything. I had to go to Minas Tirith anyway to collect an Amazon order. You've got Amazon collection points at Rivendell. Well, I didn't know that, did I? It's as I would have done. The year 3434 of the Well, sun. please, at least tell me you didn't spend too long reading in a library about events you're either present for, or should have already known about considering we'd already discussed them extensively 50 years earlier. I was only gone for like 17 years. Oh my good, Gandalf. I'm a slow reader. Dyslexic. Uh, read that, what's that? Like Size nine font. Wait a minute. Did you take this from the sacred minister of the archives? Maybe. I'm gonna return it. And I took ruddy good care of it. No, you haven't. You've got Chuck orange smudges all over it. Baggins is around here. They're all up in Hobbit. That way. Oh. Phew. Now for a moment, I was worried about these black riders. But it looks like they immediately trust anything they're told. So I guess old Frodo will need to do is say, I'm not a Baggins, and they'll leave him alone. Very unhygienic. You've smelt them. Hygiene ain't their strong suit. They're not as bad as dwarves, though. Keep your nose out of trouble, and no trouble will come to you. The defense minister for the Shire, everybody. Is it secret? Is it safe? Seventeen year callback. Did he keep it off? I don't think he remembered the setup, to be honest. Just looked confused. What are you doing? How did you know he'd only kept the ring in that envelope? And not any other really important flammable documents? Huh. Hmm. Hold out your hand, Frodo. It's quite cool. Hey, hey, guards, look. <laughs> what are you doing? Holding out my hand. Because it's quite cool. <sighs> it's my second joke. <laughs> I know it is. I can't read it. There are a few who can. It's smug. Not very really charming. Well, I am sorry, but I'm a bit sick of constantly translating everything to the common tongue. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in darkness, bind them. Mmm. Joffrey and Ank. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, I oh. So there were three rings. No, one ring. No, you just, you just said there were three. No, I didn't. Yeah. One to rule them. One to find them. And then one ring to bring them and bind them in the darkness. No, that's all the same ring. Oh, uh, well, then there should be an extra bit at the end that goes, oh, and they were all the same ring, by the way. Well, that sounds crap, though. Well, they dress it up a bit. Hark, they tholeth the sameth ring by the wayside. This is the one ring. Can't believe it took you 17 years to read up on that. Could have told you in five minutes if you just popped round for tea. I was doing lots of stuff. And certain things took longer than expected that you don't see, like, uh... That? It took what? Like, four seconds to go back and get it? More like four minutes. 
chasing it around the field, and it all adds up. Four minutes. You are gone 17 years. Yeah, but a bunch of these little things happen, and then you get to the end of the day, and you realize you've achieved nothing. Days turn into months, months into years, and what you were supposed to be doing fades out of all memory. Then you remember and peg it back to Halberton forthwith. Taken by Sildur from the hand of Sauron himself. <sighs> Spirit of Sauron endured. Oh, like a Horcrux. What a bit. If I have to hear about Horcruxes one more time, they copied us. I mean, now people have come up to me and say, oh yeah, just like Harry Potter. We did it first. The ring yearns above all else to return to the hand of its master. <sighs> Something wrong, Gendo. I just remember being really proud of the way I did that monologue. I saw it had loads of gravitas, and I just did it really well. It's a lovely reading. My dad didn't say nothing when he saw it the first time, or my brother. I invited them round to see it today, but... Well, they'll feel very silly when they see all the views this reaction video has got me. They'll be really proud of you and wish they'd made it over. Mm. Yeah, probably. Sure. Baggins. But that would lead them here. Just tell them your name's not Baggins. From what we've seen so far, they're thick as pig shit. Who goes there? Who? Probably because he didn't immediately say his surname was Metcalf or Wilgoosen or something. You cannot offer me this ring. I'm giving it to you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. You almost forget the word tempt there. Oh, well spotted. It was on the tip of my tongue, but I just couldn't get it out for a moment. <laughs> Total brain fart. I will choose this ring from a desire to do good. But through me. Yeah, what good would you do? Probably give a homeless guy a haircut or, I don't know, give away a bunch of Teslas. The ring can do that. Yeah, or make a video where I give the money away or cure the blind or somehow. I don't know. Probably. Oh, like Mr. Beast. Isn't that a contentious use of charity for capitalist purposes? No. No, it's not. Now I must be on my way. Okay. Uh, usually I just say that when I want out of a conversation, but it seems like this time I couldn't be bothered to move. Comfy. What must I do? I don't know. Get stabbed a bunch, poisoned a few times, watch a lot of people you care about die, become really quite mentally ill. Get your finger bitten off, lose all sense of joy, taste of grass, etc., and eventually die. Yeah, well, obviously I didn't tell him about all that stuff, though. Reckon he still would have done it if you had. Well, I think there's a chance he would have said no. Best keep quiet about it, then. Yeah, that's what I thought. To be fair, I have the gift of foresight, and I was keeping my yapper strictly shut. What must I do? <laughs> You must leave. Can't leave quickly. What was that cuss about? What do you mean? Well, Frodo said, what must I do? Then it cut and he was packing his stuff and then you said you must leave. What's the problem? Well, what did you do in the gap between him saying, what must I do? And you saying, you must leave. Just stood in awkward silence for a while until I mimed that I wanted him to start packing a bag. Must have felt really weird. It was cut for a reason. Big for the village of Bree. Bree. You. I'll be waiting for you. Did you meet him? No, I just stayed late at work. At the inn of the Prancing Pony. And the ring will be safe. Yeah, Frodo, yeah, we're gonna leave the ring in Brie. Like a cheese board based proposal. Low hanging fruit. Safe there. I don't know, Frodo. I don't have any you answers. You think you might have found at least some answers in that 17 year gap. But hey ho. You remember my hat flying off. And yet after a hundred years, they can still surprise you. Wasn't the first creature you met after arriving on Middle Earth thousands of years ago a hobbit? Well, it was a half hunt, but yeah, essentially. Do hobbits still surprise you after thousands of years? Wow, it's been nice. If I'm completely honest, after about 600 years, you get pretty bored of the little f***ers. You're done. Oh, and here comes the most boring of them all. 
Right, let's just pause it here. I guess for balance, I better get old Samwise back out the pantry. <sighs> Thanks for inviting me back, Mr. Gandalf, sir. Can't wait to see some more of my bits. Yeah, just don't be surprised if you don't come across all that well, Samwise. Not that well, sir. I remember what you were like during this adventure. You were a real drip. I thought Sam showed real strength of character, actually, Gandalf. Thank you, Mr. Boromir, sir. I may not be the strongest or the smartest, but I did my best to be brave and to show strong moral fiber. <gasps> oh. Boring. Look, Sam, I'm sure your scenes will be very sweet. But you mustn't feel disappointed if you end up not being anyone's favourite character. Oh. What did old Samwise Ganji have you been eavesdropping? Now that a bit of time's gone by, can you be honest with me, Samwise? Were you eavesdropping? I was, sir. But I feel like we're friends enough now that I can admit Creep. it. Creep. How often do you eavesdrop around Hobbiton? Only when I think I've heard something interesting. Oh, nasty little creepy hobbits. Please, Mr. Gandalf, sir, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me in anything unnatural. And I didn't, did I? Nothing unnatural about a potato. Well, if you had pesticides. You're organic, aren't you? Free range. Nothing unnatural about you. Dunno. I'm a latent life potato. Will you turn me back into a hobbit one of these days, Oh, sir? only if you stop whinging about it. And did you think about Rosie when you did this? Do you know how hard it is to be married to a potato? Hmm. I did not. Oh, it's a very funny gag. Ha ha ha. But you don't think about the loved ones it burdens, do you? I could turn her into a potato. That would be much easier. Oh, no, no. Then we'd just be the potato couple. That's even worse. Ha <laughs> ha. And I see Peter Jackson cut the real take. I've been driving no ease, sir. Honest, I just wanted to come in and try and get a, a bit of a close-up. I mean, you had one and Frodo had one, and I've been in nothing but group shots so far. No, 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 but we need to reshoot it and say more stuff about the ring. Well, that's what happens when you get in the way of my close-ups. I've thought of a better use for you. Come along, Samwise. Keep up. Oh, oh, oh thank God they got there. Yeah, that's not what you suggested first. What was his first suggestion? He said, I've thought of a better use for you. And then he looked at Mr. Frodo all hungry-like and said, Mr. Frodo, let's eat him. And Mr. Frodo had to beg him not to do it. Oh, I'd had a hard day. I just, I got carried away. I didn't mean it. He started sharpening the forks and everything. I'm gonna stick some chips on if anyone wants some. Oh. This video is kindly sponsored by the strategy game, Lord of the Rings Rise to War. They're running a competition, giving you a chance to win some money just before Christmas. All you need to do is answer the question, what is the main thing that Gandalf did in the 17 years between leaving the Shire and sending Frodo to Rivendell? Leave your answer in the comment section with the hashtag LOTR Rise to War. From the correct answers, I will then choose a first and second place at random and they will receive $200 and $100 via PayPal. Be sure as well to check out the game Lord of the Rings Rise to War. There is a link in the description. Jolly fellow, hey do, merry do, brie. Someone sat on the remote. We skipped a brie. I don't know how to tell you this, Tom. Tell me what? Hearken now to hear us, old Tom Bombadillo. You'll be 